Hello everyone and welcome to another lesson. I'm very happy to have you here with me today. Uh, today we're going to go over Google Sheets in N8N. It's a very, very essential node because it's your database and everything uh, within automation needs to be connected to a database. This is where you store everything you uh, you get, everything you process, you, you, you need to store it in a database to can, so you can access it later. Now, uh, without, uh, before I start, I just want to point your attention to my uh, store. Here you will find all of my workflows. You can download them, you can resell them, you can do whatever you want with them. I also have an N8N for beginners course. Uh, make sure to check that, that out if you feel that you need to strengthen your basics or if you want a refresher. Or even if you're moving from make.com, this is a great way for you to get into N8N. So without further ado, I'm going to click create workflow in the top right. And here I can now start with a trigger, right? A trigger is a way to start the workflow. I'm going to choose the manual trigger. This means that I need to click on the test workflow for this to start. And I cannot uh, make it trigger by schedule because this needs to be clicked for it to start. So uh, let's first uh, go to Google Sheets. Okay. So we have a Google Sheet. Now we have all of these, right? Uh, we, ca we can create a spreadsheet, we can delete. But the most important thing we want to go over today is getting uh, a spreadsheet and getting its data, uh, adding to the spreadsheet, updating and deleting. This is the most important ones uh, that you can, uh, that, that you would use more often, okay? First, let's get. So getting is very important because you need to get your data for, so for you to visualize that, okay? And in order to do that, we're going to go over to the sheet that we want to have, which is this contacts sheet. And the thing is with N8N, uh, because if you go self-hosted, sometimes uh, it, doesn't, uh, it doesn't show you here the, your list, right? Because it's self-hosted, the cloud version does not have that from what I heard, but with self-hosted, now you have that issue. It is still, it is connected to my account and everything, uh, but uh, it, it, it fails to retrieve the list. So in order to do that, we need to get the ID. So the ID is this piece of uh, line of characters here that you need to copy and then go here and choose by ID, right? And then once you paste that uh, from the list, it automatically loads your sheet. So it only has this problem just locating the document. Now that we are in, we can test this step. And there you go. Now we have our table that we see here. Now we see it here. Perfect. Now we got our data. So first thing I like to do is spin the data so I don't uh, get to make more requests to Google Sheets. So now that you can see it, it's been, we have seven items here. Now we got these items, we can do whatever we want in them. So, so this, this is by its own an essential step to getting your data from uh, Google Sheets. Now, what if we want to add a, uh, a new row, like a new contact, okay? What we can do is uh, go to Sheet and then let's uh, append. It's called append and it's not called add, okay? So append, what this does, uh, we need to also give it the ID of the document. We give it the ID and we are going to say sheet. Now, what we have here is we either tell to automatically figure out what we need to add from the previous node or map column manually. And then it just tells us, okay, here are the columns that you have tell me what you want to add. Okay, so let's add a new one. Uh, let's call it James. It's going to be James at james.org and just put a random number. Okay, so now we're, it's called hard coding. Now we're hard coding our data because usually we don't do that. We just have something like we're scraping something from the internet and we just put it, put the, put the values in here. We don't hard code them, but just for the purposes of showing you, uh, we can do that. Now, if we hit test step, there you go. 
Now the thing is, it added all of these. Now why, why did it do that? Because, simply because, here we have seven items coming out of this. So this node will now execute seven times, okay? Because it has seven items getting out of that, okay? Now, if we, if we don't want that, we can remove this and we can connect this directly here. Let's remove that. So always be careful the items that are going in, okay? So let's test this step again. And now we know that this item, the output here is now it added this one. Perfect. Now we added a row. We know how to add a row. We now know how to get the rows. We know how to add a row. Let's, let's get, let's, uh, let's now know how to update a row. So let's go to Google sheet, something called update. Yes. So let's connect it to the, uh, to the trigger. And then go here and let's uh, by ID. Oh, I forgot. Let's get the ID again. It's good to have your ID as a variable. Then you can always uh, connect it. Actually, I'm going to do that. So I'm going to create a new variable here. And I'm going to call it ID. And I'm going to put it here. And then now every node would have this as a start okay so now i execute the previous and now i have the id i'll just need to put it here and then i can choose a sheet perfect so here we said manual and he says what column do you want to match so what uh, how do I know which uh, which item you want to update, right? You know, let's say, okay, there's row number, let's say row number, okay? Using to match, okay, we could say, uh, or let's say, because we don't know exactly, let's say we want to adjust the uh, James one, right? Uh, James here, we want to adjust the James row, and we want to change the email from this to, uh, Dot com. That's all what we want to change. Now let's test that. Perfect. Now it tells us okay. Now you can you can see now James has changed exactly as we want it to be. Okay. So with the update, what you want to do is make sure want like you want to tell Google Sheets which uh, which row to update because it doesn't know. So in in order for you to know, uh, for for you to tell it what uh, row you need to update, you just need to select which one, okay? And based on what you select, and you tell us, you you, you should tell her, you should tell uh, Google Sheets uh, which value, okay? We now know the name. You know the name, okay? Give me the name of the row that you want to update. If we say okay, I know row number, then, okay, give me the row number for, for me to know how, what to update, okay? Just keep that in mind. Okay, now what we want to go over next is, let's put that in here, and let's uh, control C, control V to duplicate this. And I am going to connect it to this. And then this I want to delete and I want to create a new, I want to go over the delete one. So not the delete uh, sheet, I'm, I want to delete row all, column, all columns from a sheet, okay? Now this, uh, rarely I use this, but you know, uh, let's test it. So we want to get the ID from the... Okay, let's get the ID from here. And then let's choose the sheet. But I didn't want to uh, delete that. 
okay so here you tell it to delete okay it says what do you want to delete do you want to delete rows or columns let's say row then it tells you from where to where so this is a powerful thing inside of Google Sheet because now you give it you can give it a range or you can give it one okay so uh, let's start so this is the first row which is the the uh, the header let's say we want to delete uh, nine so let's want to delete row number nine okay so here. So if we say nine, then we only want to delete one. Let's test that. It says true. There you go. James got deleted. Okay. So uh, with the delete one, you have to tell it uh, from where you want to start and where you want to end. Now this could be you want this could be deleting thousands of rows. You could be deleting thousands of rows in just one click, but you just need to tell it from where to start. So the, the start point and then how many. So the start point could be uh, row number 120. This is where you start. And then you tell it, okay, delete uh, 300 rows from that point. Okay. So this is an easy way for you to understand how you uh, delete the, uh, the rows. Now, also you can delete columns if you wish. Okay, so uh, wow, let's go. Let's get back to this. Okay, what we learned today is we learned how to get rows, read them. We know how to add rows. We know how to uh, the how to update information on a row, and then we knew how to delete, uh, basically delete a a row or a column. Okay. So Google Sheet is a very powerful database uh, uh, alternative for you to use because it's free. Uh, also, Superbase is also awesome. Uh, I use it as well in my uh, workflow. I will do another uh, lesson about Superbase and how uh, you can use it. Uh, I hope you found this lesson useful. If you did, give it a like, subscribe for more videos. Check out the links in the description below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.